folks, it's Sunday. You know what that means. Welcome aboard uh, Murder Hobo Inc., the Margu campaign, our tri-generational game. Uh, welcome. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you haven't been here before, Hey, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, it's down there, I think. Uh, if you want to join us in Discord, it's down there, I think. Most importantly, if you want to be on the talk show or one of the one-shot games, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, uh, shoot us a line. Let us know. Uh, we will get you worked in here. Uh, before we recap, let's introduce you to the players that are going to make your next two hours a living hell. Oh, no, wait. They're going to make my next two hours a living hell. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, we're still short one Frank. So, you know, it's just a try Frank kind of thing. So we'll start with uh, the youngest Frank. Frank, who are you and who do you play? I am Man Fang, a dragonborn fighter with a big old Mondo Zero charisma with my great scar and my great hands. But you got that really cool tortoise shell. I am a Ninja Turtle now, so that's a plus. In the wrong direction, though. You know you strapped it on the front. I know. It'll be fine. And I'll be a reverse Ninja Turtle. Somebody's going to trip you. You know that, right? Yes, I do. I won't take any damage, though. I'll fall on my shell. <laughs> Nicholas, exactly. you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? Haggis Crapstain. Oh, sorry. 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 Haggis Crapstain. He is a... <laughs> a rogue. <laughs> oh, it's already going to be one of those days, folks. Uh, next up, Jason. Same question, <laughs> different answers. Uh, I am playing Copious Wolbitters the Third, uh, a gnomish witch, and a self-proclaimed brewmaster general of the Volbitters uh, Brewing Empire. We need to get you like a uh, red surcoat with big gold buttons at some point in time. Epaulets. Yes, uh, the yeah. hairbrush epaulets, yeah. uh, just to make it really special. Uh, next up, the elder statesman of the group. Uh, Frank, who are you? Who are you playing? And you're muted. He has no mic. Real fun. Uh, have him hit the space bar. Hit the space bar, Grandpa. I can hear him. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Grandpa, yell. I, I can hear him through your uh, headset. Exactly. That's why I needed the yell. Well, he is Leaf the Druid, folks. Uh, uh, I think we all heard that part. Uh, he will be yelling throughout the house this evening, so it should make it entertaining as shit. Uh, also, Mature audiences only, so there might be a little bit of uh, profanity dropping once in a while. Uh, last but certainly not least, AJ. Who are you? Who are you playing? I'm AJ, and I am playing Felix the Rogue, currently the only person in the party that is still sane and not a wear person. I'm not a wear person. I didn't get bit. Mm. I'm on your side, man. Okay. I think uh, it was uh, Leaf Copius and uh, Robert. Robert. Yeah, yeah, those guys. Kill those guys. So the two young ones, they, they might be sane, but in Felix's eyes, thanks to that uh, Tris. Didn't they get Marmite, hit by rats on the last, the were rats? I think uh, Manfang did. I think he did too. No, yeah. no, 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 I didn't. I, I, I think oh, I, I think yeah. Is yeah, Well, yes, I'm so forgetful, I guess. Yes, he's so still clean out. All, all throughout his body. Me now. Your body is a temple. Oh, I can hear you now. <laughs> I can hear you now. Yeah, you're, you're good, Leaf. Uh, you want to say hi to the fans now that you're a less pissed oh, off old man? Yeah, I'm, I'm now a tired old man. <laughs> He's going to remember everything his grandson said when it comes Christmas time. <laughs> and I think that is a fine little beard I've got going. I like it. Santa uh, Claus. Folks, big shout out to Pirate Dog Dice, one of our sponsors, and of course, oddfishgames.com. Uh, oddfishgames.com, if your game stinks, buy some uh, adventure sense. Uh, 
it won't make you play any better, but it'll certainly make the stink lessen unless you go after the sewers. Don't get the sewers. That Little Frank, is. come in here and switch with me. All right. <laughs> So, folks, as they switch, we'll go ahead and do a recap. These guys have been trekking through the jungle of the Tabaxi Nation to find the Dezumi Ruins, which they were fortunate enough to stumble upon with their guide, Phineas Lutrec, another gnome statesman. Uh, while their cursory examination of the ruins led them into danger fighting. Ricky, you want to try some of my dice? Uh, I'm good. I got dice. Okay. He was explaining something, but yeah, you, I got dice. That's okay. This is a this is a game for fun. Uh, they uh, have also stumbled upon a second gnome because if two gnomes are a pain in the ass, three is a really big pain in the ass. And Pierre Glanbone is sitting on a chest of something uh, as these guys filter through the Nazumi ruins. Uh, last week, uh, they were exploring the southern section of the ruins, and they would be right about here. Uh, and they are headed to this structure right here, uh, which I believe we decided was uh, the library, correct? Um, yeah. Yeah. I th yeah, I think you guys are headed to the library. Uh, they have encountered the armory shop and the uh, tavern that had some stuff, but no liquor. Uh, perhaps Pierre might be able to go ahead and explain that one to you. Uh, but uh, right here next to the bird crap encrusted statue of the uh, plaza, it is a tortle because Nazumi used to be a tortle establishment, as they have discovered from Pierre who was separated from the rest of the group uh, when Phineas Lutrec and his friends uh, returned the last time. Gentlemen, I will leave it up to you now. Do you want to head into the library or wander across the plaza? I believe uh, you guys- I vote for the library. Library it is. Uh, you guys want the good news or the bad news first? Yeah, what the hell? It's all bad, isn't it? Uh, no, everything's great in Philbar. Uh, as you enter the library cautiously and serendipitously, uh, it's right around noon from your jaunts, a little bit before noon, actually. Uh, as you go in, you notice racks and racks are present in this building. Clearly, it appears to be a library of some kind. Everybody give me a perception check to see what's wrong. Um, 16. Cool. Twelve. Fourteen. Ten. Uh, Felix, Leaf the Druid, you notice that unlike libraries that you are used to, the Tortles use clay tablets. So there are racks and racks of Ten Commandments lying about. Uh, it is a veritable maze of tablets and stands. <laughs> Each of the tablets appear to be in semi-readable condition there are some holes in the ceiling there is some debris on the floor uh the floor itself is mosaic and it is inlaid with uh sayings from the tortle empire anybody happen to speak tortle knowledge is... translator c <laughs> yeah well does anybody have comprehend languages oh, i'll see that would be the missing oh. bard had uh, comprehend languages. That's right. Uh, who's got his paperwork? Who's playing him as an NPC? I didn't grab his paperwork. Oh, that's oh no, he's going to be so dull. Oh. I, I will. I will allow his recitation to tell you that, uh, but in combat he will be limited. Uh, he will cast his spell, point out that the words mean loosely. Knowledge is power. Long live the Tortle Empire. Uh, there are also symbols and iconography dedicated to the Tortle God, which he, uh, let's see what his religion would be. Well, I don't even need to know what his stats are because that role was well low enough. He cannot tell you who the Tortle deity is uh, because it is unreadable with too many vowels and not enough consonants. Uh, as you stand in front of the 
curving racks around this semi uh, rectangular room. Uh, it looks like a maze. Would you guys like to break off and go in separate directions or just filter through like centipedes? You know, I'm, I'm for not getting too separated if we want to pair off or go together and go. However yeah, you guys want to do it. Well, I mean, we're in a library. Might right. as well just pair off and try yeah, to separate. <laughs> Split up. Yeah. Right, we're in a we'll library. be fine by ourselves. I can oh. handle myself. I got a turtle shell. I'm a ninja turtle. I have ninja powers. Yeah, but you ain't the brightest uh, star in the sky there. But... He's the diplomat, <laughs> no. I believe. He's the diplomat. We use him for diplomatic <laughs> Yeah. What day was it when we walked into the library again? I'm sorry. What'd you say? What time of day was it when we came into the library? Shortly before noon, uh, because you guys made a beeline, or you guys rounded uh, the plaza uh, and experienced two encounter, three encounters uh, before coming here. So uh, maybe 11, 1130-ish. Do we All see right. anything besides racks of clay tablets? Yes. I mean, is there like uh, a... You see a variety of skulls, a variety of, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, taxidermied sea mammals, uh, mostly skeletal or cartilage, uh, decorating the uh, coffer ceiling. Uh, it appears as though this place was a location of reverence, not quite religious reverence, but uh, apparently the turtles uh, dedicated themselves to knowledge uh, as you move through, uh, Robert of Zeppelin can point out which areas are which, uh, varying from philosophy to religion to engineering to the arts uh, to physiology, etc. Uh, is there an area that's marked as arcane? D12 against me. 12. Oh boy, 10. Uh, he thinks there's a section marked mystical, but the comprehend languages spell doesn't seem to be functioning, mostly because there is not a word for arcane in the tortle language. Okay. But he does see a spot marked mystical. It's hanging on a singular chain, and the sign is tilting in the slight breeze that is entering through the rooftop. It's a shame we don't have someone with, you know, detect magic spells. It'd be really handy. That, that would make things quicker. Uh, one moment, please. <laughs> Actually, you hear can, anything? can we just, anything that stands out as unusual, not just magical, but just unusual, like something of particular uh, interest or a, a fairly refined quality or apparently, you know, seemingly whole uh, I know. Yes to Felix and yes to Copius. Uh, Felix, you hear a dragging since you asked. Copius, you notice in the center of this rectangularish room, the center section is somewhat elevated as if it was a librarian stand. I'm going to investigate the librarian stand just to see if I will a follow. Okay. So I have Haggis and Copius headed straight for the uh, area. Leaf, Felix, and Manfang, what would you guys like to do? Well, I can cast Detect Magic as soon as I read up on it here and see what it says. It mm. will cast a blue glowing light that only you can see. Within 30 feet of me. Yep. So how big is this library? Pretty good size? This building's about 80. 80 to 100. I'll go uh, down to where he said he saw that thing. It said mystical. Okay, uh, that would be down to the left and down the main. Um, and I'll go ahead and cast the, that. Okay, uh, Felix, how about you? I'm going to follow them, but I'm going to try to listen to hear if I can determine which direction that dragging is coming from. Sure, that's fine. Fair enough. Uh, Manfang, what are you doing? I'm going to look around, see if I can find any knickknacks. Oh, okay. Uh, are you going to go the opposite way of Leaf and Haggis? Yeah, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, you are going to find a section with a lot of interesting amphibian skulls. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ooh. Fair enough. Felix, as you follow Leaf the Druid, the dragging seems to have dissipated. Uh, Leaf the Druid, you stumble onto a section with clay tablets, uh, and there is a slight glow to one of the tablets. 
uh, to your right on the third shelf. Manfang, you have discovered several different uh, small amphibian skulls, uh, and it looks like you are in some kind of environmental section, for lack of a better term. The mosaics in your area change to a seascape. Copious and Haggis, as you move forward and progress, you notice that it is a raised Diaz, uh, but it is surrounded by stone. So you can go left or right to try and find the entrance. Or if you want, you can crawl on up and uh, or hop up and go up and over the desk. I'll go up and over the desk. Uh, Haggis and Copious, go ahead and both give me dexterity rolls, please. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't good. Ten. <laughs> Twenty-two. Uh, unlike Haggis, Copious V. Bitters seems to get hung up a little <laughs> bit, uh, but he does eventually make it uh, there. Let's see here. Uh, as you guys get up, go ahead and give me a perception check. Copious, since you're having such a hard time, you can do it at disadvantage. Oh, of course. Uh, 21 14 uh, Copious you notice uh, a scraping noise and you actually see what it's coming from it is coming from a rather unusual looking snail with five heads uh, it looks at you with its little antennae moving about uh, in somewhat curiosity what would you like to do? Uh, now, how big is this snail? <laughs> uh, this snail is actually a little bit bigger than you. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, or I remember these from the books from a long time ago. Shut up. That's metagaming. <laughs> <laughs> would this look like anything I would be familiar with from my uh, or origins as a forest gnome or not? Oh, definitely not. Okay, so I, the chance of communicating with small animals is probably low, right? Not necessarily. I would I would say it is worth a shot. I'll try to roll die twelve against him. <laughs> hey, Lee! I'll try to communicate with it. And say hello, friend. How are you? You're an unusual looking creature. You're a good boy, aren't you? Something to that effect. Give me a persuasion check. Uh, this never goes well for me. Oh, wait, that wasn't too bad. Uh, 23. Nicely done. Now give me a D10. Three. Uh, four of the heads seem to be okay with you. The fifth head no. Uh, I guess by this time you have also noticed what Copious is talking to because of the, the lycanthropic uh, disability he's most likely suffering. And you notice uh, that the shell on the back of this strange mollusk is intensifying in light. Uh, Haggis, Copious, go ahead and give me a DC 15 versus Wisdom. Oh. And uh, tip not Eight. look at it, hide Eight. it. <laughs> yeah. As both of you stand on the librarian <laughs> podium, the brilliant light just flashes at you, and you both fall backwards and are <laughs> stunned. Felix, Leaf, Manfang, and Robert will all hear a loud thump thump uh, as Leaf the Druid <laughs> holds up the tablet and says, these 10 lines are magic. That's <laughs> uh, one of them damn belly things from Japan, man, right in the back of that thing. You, uh, how long are you incapacitated okay uh man fang uh, you and robert will have found several different items and uh robert will have picked up a tablet and say felix needs to see this 
Uh, Leaf, Felix, Manfang, what do you want to do about the thumps? It's like Cato Caitlin. Having heard the dragging sound earlier, I'm going to uh, say something along the lines of, I don't have a good feeling about this. This place is haunted. Are we all in different areas, I assume, right now? You are indeed. I'm going to uh, quietly and as sneakily as a druid can be, kind of head that way to see what the hell's going on. Fair enough. You guys are in this location. Uh, this is where Copius and Haggis are. This is where Leaf and uh, Felix are. And over here is Manfang and Robert. As you can tell, these little exit points are just that. So, Leaf, you have decided to go investigate. Do you want to go down or up? I'll go down. Okay. Felix? I'll go up. Oh, boy, you guys are screwed. <laughs> uh, Felix, Leaf, uh, give me D20s straight up, please. 19. Natural 20 is a good roll, not the roll that you really wanted to have here, though. Uh, as you go past a beautiful mosaic made out of shells, you notice that it is a large fish, and it's starting to communicate to you. <laughs> Save it. Am I able to decipher the communication, or am I just fascinated by the light? <laughs> Well, you don't see the light. Uh, go into the light. Uh, what you do <laughs> notice is Billy Bass hanging on the wall is. So you move kind of closer and it casts vicious mockery on you. <laughs> it says, you are the ugliest turtle I've ever seen. Give me a DC 14 versus wisdom or you can start taking damage. Oh, man. Damn. Natural one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right. I'll, oh. I'll, I'll roll disadvantage. I'll roll an advantage on damage. Eh, not bad. Uh, you take four hit points of psychic damage and are stunned that Billy Bass is so offensive towards you. You hurt my feelings. Leaf, you notice that you are going to be crossing an area that has debris on it uh, again. Uh, but this time the debris looks a little bit different, almost like it is vines that a move. Uh, what would you like to do? Walk through it or jump over it? I think I prefer to jump over it. <clears throat> Give me your dex check. At least that was higher. 14. 14 leaps over as a viney sprout with a colorful orange flower on it attempts to grab you but misses. Jesus. Uh, you notice this as you launch yourself over in superhero mode. Uh, meanwhile, over on the other side, Robert and Manfang, <coughs> give, uh, give me a perception check, Manfang. Don't add my bonus. Uh, no, just perception. Then 15. Uh, 15, you notice uh, leafy organisms are starting to grow into you as well. Uh, Robert, uh, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> the vine with an orange flower seems to be waving itself in front of you. Go ahead and roll initiative. Leaf, also roll initiative, please. Nineteen. Uh, Fourteen. Nineteen. Uh, Leaf, you tied with me. Man Fang wins. Uh, Felix, go ahead and give me initiative. Copious and Man or Copious and Haggis, uh, you guys are out of it. Roll the natural one again. Does it matter? Uh, those, those are some beautiful dice you got there. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dang. That means Billy Bass is going to be able to continue to pepper you with offensive comments about <laughs> your lineage. Uh, we'll start with Manfang, who got the 19. Uh, the vine 
looks at you hypnotically. And as you can see the stamens move in a circular manner, what would you like to do? First of all, I'm just going to move out the way. Can I, can I, is it like, how far was the way is it from my face? Or is it just like right here? It came up around the row and uh, has cut you off from going north. I'm just going to like back up a little bit and grab my great axe just in case. Sure. Wise decision. He steps back and he holds his action. Leaf, uh, you and I got 14. I'll let you go first. Same thing on your side. Orange flower rhythmically moving up. And it, it is it attached to the viney mess I just uh, moved out of the way of? You can tell okay. that there's a small crack in the exterior, uh, but you didn't notice it when you moved around the building, so you surmise that it came from below the ground level. Okay. Uh, but this thing is just kind of hypnotically weaving about its stamens moving in circular fashion probably a greeting of some kind i'm sure yeah yeah i'm, well, I'm pretty sure it is i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna back up and draw my, my sword cool beans uh unfortunately the stamens shoot stuff uh because you guys have not seen star trek apparently uh spock <laughs> so i'll go with man fang uh, that's a 16 plus 3. That's a 19. And on Leaf, uh, that's a 4 plus 3, a 7. That misses. Leaf, you notice that uh, a small splinter, for lack of a better term, has embedded itself behind the wall, and there is a slight discoloration dripping from it. Oh, boy. Manfang, as the splinter pierces you, uh, you uh, get stung with poison. So give me a con save, please, and take four hit points of damage. So I roll d20 and use my constitution. Mm -hmm. Eight. Ouch. Yeah, it hurt a lot. Uh, five more hit points, and you will fight at disadvantage until you take a short rest. Whew. This is great. Uh, I love this game. Felix, give me another save. Wisdom. Oops. There's a nine. Oh. Do I have a modifier on that? Uh, wisdom. Oh. So it's an 11. Close. Three more hit points uh, as it <laughs> it just. It disturbingly is accurate on your uh, parental lineage and what your mother may or may not have done before she met your father. Copious and Haggis, your eyes flutter open. You find yourself in front of the raised podium area and look at each other. Uh, the snail is not on this side of the podium. So as you get up, you can hear all kinds of verbal abuse in the northwest corner where Felix is, you can hear sounds of a struggle to the southwest where Lee or to the due west where Leaf is. And in the southeast, you can hear fighting as Man Fang is ah, ah, as Robert laughs. <laughs> exactly. I don't think it's going to help. So, Copious and uh, Haggis, what would you like to do? There seems to be a whole lot of crap going on here. <laughs> Without going over the podium i want to search the podium like for anything so just kind of doing this yeah yeah and what race were you again i am a halfling oh okay so it looks a lot like this oh <laughs> <laughs> well what, what what i'm in the the box i'm in right now the the area i'm in can i just search that for anything yes you guys are you guys have now landed here because you had gone up and over this was where the mollusk was uh so now you have to go left or right to figure out where the entrance is here hint there or, or we can go back up and over again, right? You may certainly do that. It worked out very well for you the first time. <laughs> and I'm I'll all go in right. favor of it. I'll go, I'll go right. And Copious, what do you want to do? I will... It, 
the right is the direction that takes us closest to where we hear all the noise, right? Uh, you do not hear any noise at this point in time, but man or man Fang Haggis is going this way because yeah. when you guys were up here, he noticed there was an entrance to the podium, entrance to the podium. Apologize when when we switch pictures like that, my computer closes down everything, and I have to find your image. I will stop doing that. <laughs> so um, there, as I probably just did it again. <laughs> my, my image. Um, Damn it, Frank! <laughs> if I, yeah, you had mentioned we could sort of hear man things murmuring, shuffling. I'm going to try to go that direction. Okay, southeast. Well, I guess you're headed for the podium, Copious. Uh, give me a. A wisdom roll, not a save, but a wisdom roll. Uh, 11. Uh, yeah, you're gonna weave in and out of the stone tablet uh, placeholders and you're gonna come up on Man Fang with a great big old splinter in his cheekbone. <laughs> uh, in dire straits, Haggis, you're gonna land on the podium and find a whole bunch of tablets there. Uh, quick look around, give me an investigation check. Sixteen snail trail tracks leading on the opposite direction. So as you go in on the right, it's over to your right. So it is exactly opposite where it is. So apparently the mollusk came up, flashed you, and left again. Uh, let's go with combat with Leaf Felix and Man Fang. Leaf, you're first. Uh, slash it. Sorry, Mike does work. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast flame blade and take a swat at it. Go ahead. Nothing says fun like fire in the library. I love fire in the library. It's clay tablets. A natural two zero. Nice, nicely done. Damage, damage, and modifier. Let's see. Damage, damage, and modifier. That's six for episodes two, three, four dot six. Twenty-seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your slicing and dicing has not only cut off the pretty orange flower, but it has also sliced through the stems uh, enough so that the vine retracts itself down through the crack. Over to Felix. Billy Bass is accurately portraying your family history. What would you like to do about the mosaic? That don't phase him. He gets that in real life. It's true, I do. But I am going to be, I'm going to say to the fish, I don't know how you are so accurate with this shit, but I hope you like the taste of my sword, and I'm going to stab him. Okay. I'm, I was just trying to think of something a little bit more elegant than that. But nothing the came up. Taste of dying sword. Yeah. One. Two. <laughs> nice. Uh, your, your blade rings off the mosaic, uh, and you hear... <laughs> uh, man fang you've been stabbed poisoned and are fighting at disadvantage but you do hear copious vol bitters coming up to assist you next round what would you like to do this round what i'm going to do is now i gotta now i have to roll disadvantage now mm -hmm. can i try and just is it did it fall out or something or do i have to like if i pluck it out will it hurt uh, i'll give you a free action to pull it out yeah then i'm gonna pull it out Roll a d20. Just make sure that you don't prick your finger with it. Well, you almost prick your finger. <laughs> okay. You've yanked the splinter out of your face. Uh, you going to swing or what do you yeah, want to do? Swing my great axe. At disadvantage. Uh, behind you, you hear Robert of Zeppelin going, I think Felix is going to enjoy this tablet. This goes ahead and gives the ins and outs on the secrets of gambling throughout the Tortal Empire. Uh, he seems completely engrossed in this strange tablet and has no idea that the vine is going after you. I got an eight. 
Yeah, it's a little bit low. Uh, new round. Copious, go ahead and give me an initiative or uh, attack roll. Uh, Haggis, or I'm sorry, initiative roll. Haggis, uh, initiative as well, please. Natural 20, copious initiative. Ooh, you can go ahead and attack Man Fang or push Robert into the clay tablets. Nine. <laughs> push Robert into clay tablets. <laughs> Uh, I so I'm upon the scene. I want to look around because all I've appeared to look at so far is Manfang, who's now standing up and is swinging at this vine. Right, that's what mm -hmm. I want up to. That is hypnotically moving about. All right, I'm going to cast a spell, and you know, if I hit Manfang, so be it. Fair enough. Meanwhile, you see Robert. This is the true accuracy of the Tordal Nation. Wait, can I change my action and go ahead and shoot Robert instead? Sure. <laughs> That's all right. I missed with my spell. It goes zinging off into the, the uh, shelves next to uh, Man Fang's head. Clear enough. Uh, as Man Fang readies his action, uh, because you did beat me on initiative. So uh, I gave you an extra attack there, but it didn't seem to have had any effect. Uh, Man Fang, go ahead and attack at disadvantage. As you feel, you feel. You feel lightheaded. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm about to pass out. I don't feel so great, guys. I don't feel. I don't feel good, Mister Stark. That's for the uh, and fun. <laughs> jazz hands. Uh, Leaf, uh, you and I tied. Your creature is disposed of. As you're running, uh, what would you like to do? He said he's going to continue in the direction he was going before. Uh, <laughs> I heard the thumps. A blue glow is in the corner. I'm going for blue glow. There you go. That's, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you distract the party. Hold up a shiny thing. Uh, it's my turn. Uh, Felix, uh, you know what? Uh, your father smells of elderberry. Give me a DC 14 roll. Ooh, 16. All right. That has no effect on you, so you will be okay. Uh, Man Fang, I am going to attempt to strangle you. That's, yeah, go ahead. That's cool. The nat 20. So yeah, I'm going to need yeah. you to roll a strength check. Please. Oh, that's good because my strength is plus seven, but my roll is going to be absolute doo doo. Because you're rolling at disadvantage. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm rolling. I'm going to die. That's a. Uh, Copious, you see as the leafy, viney obstruction goes ahead and gathers around him. Uh, Haggis had a nine. Uh, Felix, or no, we're at Haggis. Haggis, good news is you look at the snail trail, you see a small orange blossom peek around the corner of the entrance. <laughs> that's not a good sign so i'm gonna Thanks, go on the other, i need the other you gave me a better other. dice you're gonna what haggis i'm gonna go on the other side so I'm gonna go <laughs> very good so you're going out the same way that you came no, no 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 i'm gonna jump over the opposite from the entrance so you're gonna jump over the area that you jumped on top of the first time yeah yeah sure. so i'm you going did. away from the orange give me a dex check He's going to fall on his face. He's going to knock himself unconscious. Exactly. 17. I have dexterity is my biggest one. So, you know. As you leap up, you get a better vantage. You notice that Manfang is being devoured by celery. Yeah. Uh, Copious is laughing. Robert is reading. Felix is having a hard time with Billy Bass. And Leaf is digging through some old tablets in the corner. You also notice... Uh, the viney blossom is behind you, and you notice that the damn mollusk is to your left. So closer towards Felix and Leaf the Druid section than yours, and it seems to be plodding along at a very slow pace. Okay, well, I want to plod along at an even slower pace behind it so I can get ready for a sneak attack. 
and give the opportunity for the orange blossom to catch up to you. I like how you think. Uh, one, Felix, you are up. Uh, Billy Bass is lessening his attacks on you. Yes, and as the tears that were forming in my eyes start to dry up, I'm going to say some more colorful words to him and attempt to stab him again. Sure. This time I roll in a 23 to hit. Mm-hmm. Eight damage. Oh, nicely done. You pop out one of Billy Bass's eyes, a beautiful little tiger eye gem, and it falls to the ground. Uh, as you look down, you see it spin, and Billy Bass will tell you what happens next. Uh, top of the order, Copious V Bitters. Uh, Manfang is slowly being choked to death by asparagus or celery or some other green leafy substance. Uh, Robert is still completely engrossed in the tablet. I'm going to summon my uh, packed weapon with, uh, as a short sword, and I'm going to try to chop the vine that's strangling uh, Manfang. And Manfang, I'm going to do my best not to do it right close to your neck. We're going to go a little farther back from that. I was going to say, you want to avoid a natural one or a natural 20. Because <laughs> a natural 20 is going to cut right through that vine. <laughs> so you know it's going to be a nat 20, right? Oh, yeah. That's the worst of both worlds. Oh, it's not. You're all right, man. <laughs> uh, it was a let's uh, 17. Nicely done. Damage? Uh, 14 points. Uh, you chop off the flowery head and the vine starts to wither away back whence it came. Man Fang breathes a huge sigh of relief. <gasps> Uh, uh, 19, Manfang, you breathe a huge sigh of relief and you can smack Robert in the back of the head for not coming to your rescue. I will uh, do that twice. Fair Sorry. enough. Leaf the Druid, uh, give me an investigation check. Fifteen. Uh, as you examine the bookshelf where the blue pale light is, every time you pick up one of the tablets, the light is not upon it. Uh, you begin to disassemble the rack and you discover a secret niche in the rack. Uh, and as you crack it open, you find a slender reed uh, that emits a blue pale glow or pale blue glow to your eyes only. One might even say it is a wand-like instrument. Don't touch it. It's radioactive. It's plutonium. Uh, Felix, you notice that the eyeball rolls around, rolls around, rolls around, looks up and says, I can still see you, but from below, you look even smaller. Give me a, <laughs> give me a wisdom 14. <laughs> Listen here, you little... 13. A 13 is good enough to hit it. <laughs> oh, are you waiting on me? Yeah. Damage. Oh. Four plus seven. Without the eye, it's much easier to hit. Uh, as you crack into the uh, mural, uh, mosaic, etc. Uh, you notice the voice slowly dead here, and it stops. Uh, below on the ground is a nice tiger eye gem worth 75 gold pieces. Uh, moving over to Haggis next. Uh, Haggis, uh, since you are slowing your roll to follow the mollusk, Thirteen plus three does a sixteen hit you? Barely seventeen. Uh, you feel a small prick in your buttocks region as one of those splinters hits you. Give me a Constitution save, please. One hit point of damage. Seventeen. And no uh, damage from the poison. Uh, you do suffer one hit point of damage your scene. Uh, it is okay. your turn. Uh, you can turn around and notice that the hypnotic orange flower has shot something at you and it is actually 
extremely close to you. Danger close. Broken arrow kind of close. Melee Danger. range. Melee range. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does it... it if, if it did prick me, mm-hmm. then I want to use a new weapon, the weapon of acting, and I want to act like it poisoned me. Give me a performance okay. check. <laughs> one of us. One of us. Fifteen. Uh, okay, you pull off your zombie-esque <laughs> attack. Uh, is that all you wanted to do? <laughs> yeah. It's building up. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we can all hardly wait to see where this goes. Uh, last but not least, uh, well, that was Felix. I went out a turn again. Uh, there are there is only one co- combat going on at this time. Leaf, you have discovered a magic wand. Felix, uh, you have found a pricey gem. Manfang, you are still delirious. Robert has found a tablet on gambling in the turtle world. Uh, Copious and Manfang, at disadvantage, uh, go ahead and roll investigation. Thirty twenty. Manfang, at, dis- at disadvantage. All right, let's see how good I can roll with this new dice. Six. Yeah, you're still suffering the delirium from the uh, toxin that has been injected into you. Copious, you notice in the complete collapse of this bookcase, you find several amphibian shells, but one noticeable carved piece of marble in the shape of a dolphin. Uh, how, how large is it? Is it portable or is it? Okay. Yeah, I'll pick it up and put it in my pouch. And then the, the plants, is the orange blossom head still uh, wrapped around Manfang or has he pulled it off and it's laying on the ground? Or it's on the ground. I'm going to try to carefully fold it back over its uh, its shooting parts and then see if I can't wrap those and tuck them into a, a, a bottle. Got a new uh, libation idea, do you? I do. We're going to try to see if we can't harvest oh, 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 oh. Oh, boy. It's so good you won't remember it. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, we will skip over everybody and go back to Haggis who is engaged in combat while acting. Uh, Haggis, you had a nine. Uh, I had a 14. Uh, You put on a good performance, but I am going to try and strangle you now. The 19 on the roll. (laughs) So I'm going to need a strength check, please. I am hot tonight. Five. Everybody hears <laughs> uh, Leaf, it is northeast of you. Copious and Manfang, it is northwest of you. Felix, uh, it is southeast of you. Um, due to his halfling size, well, you're still on the thing. Everybody can see the leafy vine strangling the crap out of Haggis. Uh, I'm gonna head that way then. Felix, I'll be right there. Felix, you hear? Felix, I got something for you. <laughs> I'll be right there. Copious and Manfang, you are considerably closer. I'm not on my way there. I am seeing that this gem popped out of that fish thing. Of You're course, I'm gonna take out a dagger and I'm gonna play surgeon. I want to see what else is in there. Good call, Copious and Manfang. I'm, I'm running to Felix. Like, I don't want to get hit. Happening. <laughs> okay, uh, Copious, uh, what is your movement speed? Uh, it's five yards less than normal people. 25. Uh, Haggis, uh, take two hit points of strangulation damage. Let your eyeballs pop out and give me another strength check. Uh, 
Ah. Huh. That was a four. You're still choking on your own vomit, almost. Uh, Leaf the Druid, what are you going to do with this new wand? Well, I'm tuck tucking that away in my uh, backpack here, my Fair. satchel. Fair Who's enough. With wizard. that blue tablet that I found, too. Yep. Uh, the tablets in this place are the size of a seven-inch Kindle. Okay. So that's, that's good news. You should be able to pack up quite a few, as long as you are careful with them. Uh, Felix, D12 against me. <laughs> Nine. Three. Uh, give, me, <laughs> give me a percentage roll. Eighty-five. Hmm. Do you want a minor magic item or do you want money? I don't have any magic items. So maybe magic? You find you find an aquamarine set of lips. Oh, and you realize oh, as you hold it, uh, it is attuning itself to you, and you realize that you can now speak through this set of lips. So if you throw it somewhere, it's especially useful if you are a spellcaster. But We'll call it, uh, and you know what? I, I'll give you a bonus on it. Once a day, once, uh, you can use it to cast Vicious Mockery. Now, telling it to cast Vicious Mockery is your action. But you know what? I'll do it, and it's DC 13 uh, Wisdom. <laughs> I'll call it Lips of Mockery. Uh, that was the uh, apparent uh, source of its ability. Not the uh, tiger eye. Uh, Man Fang, you are still gasping at your breath. You take an elbow to the ribs from Robert and go, see, right here. This is the key to this. This is how you beat this. Uh, Copious, as you weave your way around, uh, you are uh, you find yourself stopped in the center uh, with a tumbleweed passing by you as you stand Across the way, facing you, is the five-headed snail. And all five heads raise an eyebrow towards you. Uh, in the background, you can see Copious, or Haggis. <laughs> and so far, you are the only one headed that way. <laughs> so we've got a high noon situation. Is that what you're describing here? That is what we're describing. You are Clint Eastwood, and I am every other bad guy. I'm giving him a spaghetti western stare at all five of those heads. And I'm going to cast a spell and shoot that sucker after. And I'm going to scream at him. I tried to be your friend, you dirty little so-and-so. And I totally screwed the pooch on that roll. That was oh, a two. I didn't fumble, but it's a two. What, what was the spell? Let's see if it can help Haggis. <laughs> It was agonizing blast. Uh, nah, that's not going to help him. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Eldritch blast. Agonizing blast is my bonus to it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, no, it goes off. Uh, barely missing Haggis, whose eyeballs are really starting to pop. Uh, Haggis, take two hit points of damage and give me a strength check. Don't worry. If you die, we'll we'll we'll, we'll let Manfang heal you. <laughs> I'm a, I, I'm a great medic and translator. I do everything. Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen. You managed to get your fingers in and you open up your airway, so you are not going to take any more damage at this time. However, that is your action, uh, Felix. As you look over these translucent blue lips. You understand the power that this thing has. Uh, what would you like to do? I'm going to pocket the lips, pocket the eye of the tiger. And uh, like I said before, I'm on my way, guys. And I'm going to get enough. out over there and help. Man, Fang, you are staggering your best that way while Robert is 
following behind you, reading off the tablet and turning it over and go, oh, there's more information on the backside. Uh, Haggis, you have maintained your airway and gotten it open, so you are okay. Leaf, you have packed away the tablet and the wand to the best of your abilities. What would you like to do? I'm heading for Haggis. Fair enough. You are going to intercept with Copious in one round. Uh, new round. We'll start with Haggis. Uh, I beat you, so I'm going to try and strangle you again. Uh, with another 19 on the die, I wrap around your throat a little bit tighter. Four hit points of damage, but it is your turn. Break my grip. Think of a great big pumpkin vine. <clears throat> Uh, 13. 13 is still good enough. So you <gasps> break your airway. Copious. Huh? Uh, the flail, or I'm sorry, the mollusk is decided it wants you badly. And it begins to <laughs> strangely move towards you at a brisk pace. Uh, it is not in melee range yet. So you will get one more uh, missile or magic attack before it gets there. Yeah, I'm going to do a missile attack. Cool. All right. Well, uh, Ag you know, Eldritch Blast again. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Is that a one? Oh, man. I should have kept the roll they hit the ground with. So, how much damage did you hit Haggis for? <laughs> God bless. You will be hitting Haggis and the vine. So damage and then halved. Seven points is half. Seven points is half? Holy <laughs> crap. Uh, the good well, news round is... Down, round down six points. Okay, round down to six points. Uh, the good news, Haggis, <laughs> is that the vine <laughs> is uh, rescinded itself and it is getting out of dodge. The bad news is you take six hit points right in the face oh, as Copious oh. uh, was saving your life, I believe is how the bards will uh, say it. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, Felix, you round the corner and just as Felix takes one to the face. Uh, if you have a missile weapon, you, you still cannot see yeah. the uh, mollusk. August takes one to the face. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> uh. next, next round, you can Go into the podium area if you want, or go around the podium area to where you just see the top of Copius's head. Uh, Maybe August is splayed out in the podium area. I still have my sword in my hand, so I think I'm going to have to do melee combat. Fair enough. Leaf, uh, you uh, slide in sideways right up next to Copius as he unleashes an agonizing blast to August. Uh, Clearly, he is possessed by some kind of evil or nefarious creature. Uh, what would you like to do? You see a five-headed snail about four feet tall. How uh, far away? It is bearing down on Copious. Uh, it will be in melee range. Uh, essentially now. Uh, I'll take a swat at that sucker. Go ahead. AC 16 to hit this thing. Oh, great. Well, 16. There you go. Damage. Ooh. 16. Nicely done. Uh, I'm telling you, it's those green dice I got. Them bad boys are fine. For some hobo reason, Inc. I think they were made purposely to come up and say Murder Hobo Inc. That's weird that it happens that way. I it's almost it. like a gambler's dream. Uh, <laughs> Felix, you see the sword of leaf uh, whack down and you hear a nice crack. Uh, leaf and I tied. I am going to... Oh, you, you did 16? Yeah. One of the heads is slumped over. Uh, I will get four attacks. Uh... I will take I will take two on you and two on copious. 
On you, a five and a 16 plus five, so 21. On copious, a 15, which is dirty 20, and a seven, which is uh, plus five, 13. So one attack on each one of you. And I too will use one of the green murder hobo dice. Mine do not roll as high, uh, but it does give you seven hit points leaf, seven hit points copious. Uh, copious, you are up. Um, when I took the hit from the snail, I want to cast Hellish, Re Hellish Rebuke as a reaction to it. It's DC 14. Oh, Jesus, now, I'm right in front of him. Now, is that a, uh, yes, you're right. Ah. Now, is that a spell? Yes. Good news. Okay, so... Oh. So 14. Now roll a d6 for me. Two. Transfer. The anti-magic shell has the spell reflected back at a caster who must otherwise save. <laughs> oh, son of a freaking freaking freaking. This is why this is so tough. Uh, I did not save against my own damage. Is it still half damage or full damage? Uh, it's full damage. <laughs> it's not an accident. This is a reflection. The good news is it wasn't a five or six. <laughs> Why? What's five or six? Magic bursts into energy and everyone in a 30-foot radius has to DC 15 versus con or take 1D6 force per level of the spell. <laughs> hey, you know how much you, you know how much this spell does? I'm glad... Uh, I did. It's three die ten. It's not a small spell. I just took a hell of a lot of damage. That's okay. Hoggis is <gasps> upright. I, I have a question for you. Then sure. I'm using I'm using Fury Blade. That's a spell. Uh, it is right. A, well, it is a spell on your weapon. So I'll go okay. ahead and rule that that is okay. So okay. I, All right. My normal. Now that's back to the top of the round. Am I stunned, or can I take my normal action? Uh, you can take your normal action. I'm going to attack with melee. I still have my packed weapon from saving uh, man. You sure you don't want to cast a spell at it? I'm really oh, sure I don't want to cast a spell. But it doesn't matter because I missed the snail. Fair enough. From the hellish rebuke threw me off my game. <laughs> okay. Uh, Felix, uh, you charge forward. You see all kinds of hand movements and sparks and weird stuff going on. You have your sword in hand. Uh, you see Haggis stand up and look around. The ligature marks all over his neck. You see Manfang slowly plodding towards uh, with Robert of Zeppelin behind him reading about, huh, I didn't know it was a 21 that would win. Uh, so, Felix, you are up. <laughs> I need to get a look at that tablet when he's done. Uh, can I do a sneak attack on this vine thing? Am I able to see it? Vine's dead. Yeah, oh. the vine's, yeah, the vine's gone. The only thing left is the, uh, we'll call it the flail snail, as ah. Leaf the Druid is well aware of what this thing does. Can I do a sneak attack on flail snail? You sure can. You're coming up from behind. All right, let's do it. You notice one head hangs limply. Four other heads are intact. Uh, how about a 20 to hit? Well done. Six plus uh, seven damage. Whew, that's terrible. That, that knocks down another head. Uh, so now there are only three heads up. Uh, Man Fang, you wander in uh, like a drunken sailor. I'll go ahead and let you have an attack now. All right, cool. Using my great axe. Let's see if I can actually hit something. At disadvantage. Hang on, copious and leaf. <laughs> I know that's well, the only reason you're letting him in there to swing, too. You're exactly right. 12 is not good enough. 16 is your magic number to hit this thing. Uh, that moves us to Man that's Thing at the 19. Uh, copious, I uh, went out of order. Copious, go ahead and go. You going to use magic? You should use magic. It's probably a lucky thing. That's all right. I still can't hit this thing. Uh, it is tough to hit, but it is very expensive. I rolled five. It's not, <laughs> it's not the shell. Uh, Leaf, you might want to watch your leg as he's swinging uh, for a home run. Leaf, uh, you and I tied. Go ahead. 17. That does hit. Come on, hobo dice. 
Oh, I let me down this time. <sighs> they That's suck. Nine and eight, 17. That ain't letting you down by much. Uh, that's 40 hit points. There is only one head left on this thing. Uh, but you and I did tie, so that uh, gives me two attacks. I'll go uh, one for you. Uh, I got to tell you, I'm more afraid of my own party standing behind me than I am of the snail. <laughs> I, this is Murder Hobo Inc. You should be. Uh, Copious, the other attack is a one to four. If it's a five or six, it'll go against Felix. It is a five, so I'm going after Leaf and Felix. Leaf, 17 plus five, 22. Felix, uh, 18 plus five is 23. You guys each take, come on, murder hobo. One plus three. Uh, Leaf and Felix, you take four hit points of damage. That <laughs> brings us to Hoggis. You guys want i can cast a spell and you can take more damage no that's true uh haggis you have regained your airway although you're going to have significant bruising uh you can leap or you can leap down uh right into melee if you want wait 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 so if wait, if this thing you said I could jump down to melee. So, it, if I'm, am I above the snail? Mm -hmm. You are on the raised Diaz on the table, the librarian's table. Everybody else is below you. Obviously, Leaf and Felix are tall enough. You can see them. As you look down, you can see the others. Uh, and you can well, see the hand thing. Well, this is a gift. I'm going to jump on top of the snail and, like, stab it. I'm not sure you understand what the concept of a gift is, but go ahead. <laughs> I stab at thee with the heart of frost. Have you seen how your party's rolling? <laughs> yeah. It's going to use you as Haga's armor. 15. Uh, not good enough. <laughs> so you jump, to jump down? On yep. the side of the snail like Gregory Peck and Moby Dick. Yes. Uh, he lands, does the superhero landing, and the flail snail goes... <laughs> <laughs> So, gift it is, top of the order, Copious. Uh, you going to hit this thing or just, you know, whimper? I'm pretty sure I'm just going to hit a party member, but let's try to aim for the snail so it looks like an accident. I rolled a five four times in a row on the same die. I kid you not. Uh, Haggis, as you do your superhero landing, Copious slashes right past your face and almost gets you. 19 is Manfang. Uh, still rolling at disadvantage. Fantastic. I love rolling at disadvantage. You look toxic. You're the toxic Avenger today. Oh, I feel like it. But it's not. No, I'm not hitting anything. No, Didn't hit your party, though? Huh? Didn't hit your party? No. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Uh, the two 14s are up next, Leaf and myself. Uh, there is only one head left because Leaf and I tied the last time. So I only have one head left. 17. 17 hits. Um, 14. Uh, over it goes as the last head falls to the ground. The <laughs> shell boop pops over. You have a three and a half foot to four foot uh, crystalline shell at your disposal. Leaf, uh, you know what? Everybody, go ahead and roll our can of check. Ooh. I'll give copious and leaf advantage on their. Well, you roll it on intelligence or. Arcana. Arcana, I think, is intelligence. Is, is it? It looks like intelligence, yeah. Do I, roll uh, I got 15. 20 for Copious. You just roll one, man, Fang. Okay. 20 for Copious. 17. 17 for Leaf. 15. Uh, I got two because my Arcana is minus three. Everything that you should be smart in, I'm very dumb. I'm standing on the side of the creature stabbing down with a short sword. Give me a d20. <laughs> 14. Okay. Uh, Felix, what was yours? 15. 
uh, Felix, Copious, and Leaf, uh, somewhere, somehow in your training within the ether mists, you realize that something about this thing is pretty pricey. And Copious will remind you all that uh, this thing has an anti-magic shell, ergo, it is worth several thousand gold pieces intact. But it is three and a half feet wide. Well, I think we're carrying this sucker home. I think so too, but we need to get this meat out of it first. That's true. You can gut it. Leaf, uh, it's, you've still got your 10 minutes of uh, uh, detect magic. There's something blue glowing in the librarian's section. Who wants to gut the mollusk? I think Robert, Robert's got that skill, doesn't he? Yeah, he's good at <laughs> you know, He's been the one gutting everything. I don't know. I know that's the only reason they said that. Nat 20. Uh, Felix, here, read this. This is useful to you. He's... <laughs> like uh, Benny Hanna, and uh, he uh, he gets the thing out, uh, grabs man fangs water uh, skin, and uses it to clean it out. And then man fang hands your half depleted water skin back to you, soaking uh, the stone floor. Uh, the item is now much lighter, uh, but still Italian because it is fragile. So who wants to carry it? I'm assuming you're going to make Robert. I think uh, what I think we probably, uh, yeah, I think we'll have Robert carry it. We'll, let's just strap it to his back. Okay. Felix, uh, you look at the tablet. Okay. <laughs> uh, it is a uh, gambler's manual. If you study it for two weeks with help, uh, I'm going to let you add one to any gambling die roll you want. You know what? I'll up the ante. I'll let you roll a D4 and add that to any singular gambling roll per day. Once per day. So I can, just so I'm clear, I add one D4 to the outcome of any gambling roll once per day, one time per day. Correct. Okay. Okay. Tablet of gambling. Uh, against a uh, you can even have advantage on any singular roll if you're rolling against turtles okay. so once a day if you have a gambling roll you can roll at advantage one time that does not detract from the 1d4 so you can still roll at advantage and you can still roll the 1d4 so against turtles you've got two things that you can do against them. Uh, Leaf, as you uh, run around like a giddy child, uh, the pale blue light leads you to a key with a tortoise shell on the end of it for the thumb. Uh, it is magic, but you do not see anything with a lock here. Yeah, well, I'm going to take the key and start examining to see if I can find a keyhole. Sure. Go ahead and give me an investigation check. Haggis and Manfang, the ligature marks are going to leave nice bruising along here. Uh, for those 18. of the elders, I'll call you David Carradine's. 18 is not good enough to find the lock. Okay. I'm going to uh, suggest to Haggis and Manfang, I said uh, cravats really help out. with. And very stylish. Very stylish. And I'm going to ask Robert if he's run across anything on the tablets that speaks to more Epicurean pursuits. Does he find any recipes, alcoholic recipes, distillate, you know, brewing uh, treaties, or anything that speaks to the histories of the uh, Tortle people? That we yeah, because you and he are such good friends. I'm sure he'll help you out. He looks at you, takes the shell, and goes, <laughs> No! <laughs> Not yet. Because <laughs> that is something that Robert would do. Uh, he points out that history and culinary arts are in the far section where nobody's been. I want to point out to Frank that I think Robert would have sang that to him. Well, it's over there. Over there. <laughs> the histories are over there. Yes, that's pretty on target here. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention to uh, the guys that I found a key. Not but a wad, I, just a key. <laughs> just a key. 
I found a key. I have not as yet seen any place to put this key. I have a nope. suggestion. No suggestion, <laughs> please, Felix. Man, but I did I have a key. key. So while you're invested looking around, look for a key hole. Maybe it goes to the basement. What was that? Is there a basement in this place? Let's look for that then. I don't know. It might I, go to the back. Might, might be the bathroom there. key. What? What'd you say? Five more? Over where? Uh, I, it was back over there where I was, I was, this fish was talking shit to me. I had to smash it. Let me see the key right quick. There, see it? Wait, wait, before you hand it, did, did he? Well, I'm not it? handing it to anybody. No, just hand it to me. Let me just see it right quick. Wait, are we sure he's okay? He tried to accuse all of us of being were rats a day ago, and now he's saying. Oh, no, I'm fine. I just didn't see he's talking it. about Now he's talking about a talking fish? Yeah, he got I, his ass kicked by a talking fish. I, there was yeah. a, I swear, this fish, it was right on the wall. It turned, yeah, it looked at me. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It looked yeah. like it was made out of some vinyl or something. It was creepy. Bullshit! What's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this fish at? Show me the fish. Uh, I gutted the fish. It's back over here. Let's go oh. look. Oh, so where's the, the fish? Where's isn't the, the point. The point the was magic the key. fish attacked you, but you beat it, and now it's gone. The fish knew an oddly specific okay. amount of information about my mother and my mother's profession. <laughs> I think Seamstress? It. Um, she's a baker. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Always got a bun in the oven, huh? Kind of, yeah. You beat me yeah. to that one. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of softballs here. Huggison Manfanger. Because <laughs> they got beat up by flowers. No. So Felix getting beat up by a fish isn't exactly the worst. Now, I'll let Felix look at the key with me standing right there. Of course, Copious shot something into a parent mirror. <laughs> yeah. So did you hand me the key? Yeah, sure. I'm going to look at the key. How big is this key, Frank? Is it a pretty good size? Felix, actually give me an investigation. Uh, Leaf, also an investigation. Ten. <laughs> Uh, 22. Felix, you don't notice it because you're uh, amped to get a hold of the key. Leaf, you notice that the two teeth on the key change to three teeth as you hand it over. Oh, my, so the reason why I wanted to see the key is I want to see if the key fits that notch on the mask of Farsis that I have. The sure. terrifying mask. I'm guessing the key is probably too large. It would certainly appear so. Do you want to try it anyway? I, <laughs> if I can do it without putting the mask on. You take the mask in hand. You take the oversized key. You move it towards the slot that you were told about. The key shrinks as it goes towards it and fits the opening as you withdraw it the key returns to the Ooh. same size <laughs> but has five teeth on it does any does leaf see me doing this putting the oh, key up in there? he, right he there. is not going to let that thing out of his sight uh -uh. Okay. i know it i know the key's glowing blue in my eyesight i'm gonna reach out and take the key back from him that's fine Haggis, Manfang, perception check, since you guys are the only ones uh, not doing something. Is it advantage still? Or? Oh, yeah. You're, you're disadvantaged till you get a short rest. What was That's it, 18? Yeah. Life is fun. I would like to thank Leaf for letting me examine the key. Yeah, I saw what you, it did. Apparently, it'll it'll work in that mask of yours. Yes, it will. That could Six. Six. I guess there's movement outside. What kind? Uh, <laughs> as you weave your way through the bookshelves, uh, it appears to be some kind of raiding party uh, of what did you guys fight last time? We're rats. rats. We're rats. Uh, freaking rats. This time it is a pair. Oh. 
Leaf, can Leaf or Robert maybe slap some healing on some party members here? A couple of us. Yes, I can. Man, hey, bang. Wait, what's that? I suppose. What does he heal for? Oh. He, he does uh, cure light wounds, right? Yeah. I'll uh, I'll do two rolls. Who wants them? Can you suck out my poison? Can you suck out my poison? Well, I think uh, Haggis took. I'm not a going to suck out anything. <laughs> <laughs> I took 17 points of damage, so I'm almost at half halfway. So I I'll give one of my D8s to you. Who wants the other one? Haggis probably, and Leaf can handle. Man I'll do man thing. Uh, eight to Copius. And eight to Haggis back. 17, man, Fang. Ooh, that was exactly what I had. That's cool. You're healed! And you're welcome. <laughs> you know that have... the gnomes are getting crap-faced over at the tavern, right? Okay, just checking. If anybody has any healing left, I can sure sure use some four, from those epic four. burns from that fish. Get roasted. Seven, and oh. I, I think that's all he's got, right? Does he have three of them? So seven hit points seven, back. Four, seven, seven. And he wanders seven, off to the culinary eight. and historical aspect. Haggis is the only one noticing that there are at least two creatures outside. Well, if we're going to... Haggis, on you, buddy. Yeah. I'm gonna. We well, got my key back. Act up. Everybody's healed. I think it's time. Maybe we head back to the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think lunch. I said end with a D on it, didn't I? I think you did. Yeah. You well, they're in a tavern anyway. <laughs> oh, tavern. Uh, as you get out there, there are two tabaxi outside discussing in tabaxi-ish something. And what are they wearing? Like, would they be wearing something? A They're more... wearing the exact same thing that you saw the two were rats in. Uh, uh -oh. Gray tabards, uh, gray cloaks. Mm. Well, they're a cat, so. That don't mean they're pussies, son. I just want to point that out to you. <laughs> I'm going to grab a, a rock, a pebble at the least, and throw it in a, very far away and see what that. Well, there, Nolan Ryan, give me a <laughs> attack roll with Dex as your modifier, because if it's too low, you're going to hit one of them, and that's going to cause the bench clearing brawl. Huh. All right. And I am going to roll a d20 for a different purpose. Oh, All right. And that one, excellent. Got eight. Uh, eight, you managed to throw the rock, skittering it across uh, in front of the tabaxi, uh, and they look over to where it lands. Sadly, the natural one means Robert yells, I found something! Very loud. Somebody roll d12 against me to see if the oh, tabaxi were rats hear him. Uh, Two. Rolling. Twelve. <laughs> The tabaxi hears something, a.k.a. Robert of Zeppelin, exclaim that he has found something, uh, and two additional tabaxi pair up. Four tabaxi come rushing in towards the library. Fortunately, you are in the shadows, so they do not see you. They have only heard Robert of Zeppelin. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, crap. 22. 15. Got the roll. 12. Or an house of mace. Mace for I missed Man Fang, Copious, and Haggis. 17 for Copious. 18. 12, eh? Fair enough. Uh, 22, 18, 17, 13, and 12. Everybody gets to go ahead of me. So, um, 22 is first, Felix. <clears throat> Everybody but Robert notices that there are four creatures headed your way. I think I am going to lurk in the shadows and just... <laughs> I, well, actually, four. 
uh, were, am I close enough to the front door of this library to like set up a snare trap or something? There will not be enough time to set up a snare trap. And I'm just going to sit here in the, I'm going to try to retreat back into the shadows, swap my so, bow or my sword for my bow and wait for them to enter the door. So are you guys forming up a semicircle around the door for a kill zone? I think that's what we should. Uh, let's do it more of an arc, not a semicircle, unless I'm not one of the legs that's going to shoot at each other. Candy asses. Uh, 18 <laughs> is up next. Man Fang at disadvantage. What do you want to do? Charge. Um, Charge forward. Charge into the killing zone. Oh, he, he was poisoned, wasn't he? Yeah. I'm not oh, gonna... man, I forgot all about that. I could have fixed that. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything because I'm just going to walk over there, swing, either hit someone else or not hit it at all. So I'd rather. Fair enough. 17, copious. I'm, I'm going to let them pass into the library. I'm going to go back down the, into the shadows a little deeper, wait for them to pass into the library, and then shoot them. Fair enough. The 13, leaf. I had 15. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna touch Manfang uh, uh, with lesser restoration. Ew. Yeah, and that should take care of his poison. Fair enough. Uh, last but not least, twelve Haggis. I'm tempted to just ruin Copius's plan, but um, I'm, <laughs> but <laughs> dinner should yeah, he shot me tonight. like. <laughs> Throw big old rocket. But I'm, I, I really want them to come closer in to a point where we can all hit them at a better time than that us just hitting them out there. So I, I believe we all got like a little ball. What was that thing we got back at the village? You're, ma you're not very making it. You mean the uh, <laughs> Felix got something called? Oh, I got a I lot of things. I know exactly what you're talking about. What were they? The fuzzy balls or something? Yeah, the fuzzy balls. Yeah, we each got one. Right. I want to pull it out and I'm going to come into the light inside the library and just you know shake. <laughs> Wooly balls. Shake them a little bit. Wooly That's balls, right. yeah. Uh, as Haggis steps forward, the four tabaxi burst through the front entrance. That must be where the noise is from. Let's see if Robert really screws the pooch. An eight. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to need that. Uh, that is their action. We are back to the top of the order. All four have breached the entrance. They are in a perfect kill zone. Uh, Felix. 22. Are they distracted by those woolly balls at all? Uh, let's to get a sneak attack on them is where I'm at. Why I'm asking. They don't know you're there, so I'm going to give you the sneak attack. I'm going to give everybody, if they have a sneak attack, you can have it because they are focused in on Haggis. I am going to fire an arrow. The curved silver tip arrow? No, no, I'm saving those. Those are special arrows. I'm, these are the straight, regular tipped arrows. Uh, 16, does that hit? Oh, yeah, easily. Oh, sweet. Magic number is 12 to hit these guys. Uh, 8 plus 3 is 11, plus another 3, 14. You are attacking number 1, 14 damage. Still up. Next is 18, Manfang, who has been cured and no longer has to roll at disadvantage. Boo! You suck. So now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna attack him because my poison has been disintegrated. Mm -hmm. With my great axe, let's see if I can. You're feeling it. much better. I would say almost cocky. Yeah, a little. So I'm gonna hit him almost every time. Does that help? Good. Rolls still aren't getting better. Seven. It's got to be you. It ain't the dice. Wait, no, it is good. It's 17. Hits. All right, good. And You're going after number four. Ten. Ten damage. Nicely done. 17 is up next. Copious. So we're well engaged into melee now, huh? So, so no talking, and I want to make sure I picture this. The four creatures are standing there. 
Pagus is on the other side of them, and behind them up runs Manfang and, and cuts into one with a, a great axe. Is that about the sum of the scene? And one takes an arrow in the uh, upper shoulder region, courtesy of Felix. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and release a spell, Agonizing Blast, into uh, the one that has the arrow in it. That would be number one. Uh, 20, dirty 20. For 13 points. Ooh, almost gone. Uh, so to 15, leaf. One has an arrow and agonizing blast. One has a slash to its midriff. Uh, which are one's closest to me? I have no idea. I rolled a 14. Closest one is three <coughs> and 14 does hit. I'm using that fancy mace I found over in the armory. Gotcha. You don't know what that does yet, do you? I have no idea. Uh, seven points. Okay. Uh, Haggis? Um, what was the one we did? Uh, four. Uh, two. No, two. No one has hit two. No one has hit two. Okay. Well, I'm going to rape your two, so I'm just going to stab it. Okay. The woolly balls are the web balls, are they not? Web? I don't uh, cast web the balls? web on you. Yeah. That was a thing? I, I think that's what they do. I think I gave, gave you web's balls. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, that web didn't like that. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't. I thought the woolly balls just were distractions to cats. To oh, them. that's right. Yeah, you got yeah. those in the pawn shop. Never mind. Yes. Or the shop. Yeah. Yes, yeah. they are a distraction. Uh, go okay. ahead, August. 18. 18. 18. 18 hits. And rolled it. Eleven. Nicely done. All of you have successfully hit. Uh, they are going with a javelin against Odd Felix, even copious. Odd Felix. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, five plus four, nine. That's not going to work. Haggis, yours is going to roll at disadvantage since it was the primary focus of the ball. Uh, that's a three and a 17. So the three will negate that. Leaf. Uh, yours uh, will engage in melee and miss with a 12 and Manfang, yours will engage in melee with a 13 plus 4, 17 get you? Nope. Uh, that's it for me. These guys are candy asses. Uh, round 3, Felix. I'm going to reach into my quiver and accidentally, unbeknownst to me, pull out a Arrow. Oh, did I? Did I freeze? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna we reach. We caught the curved arrow. Curved arrow. I did not mean to pull pull out a curved arrow. I'm just gonna. Totally by accident. Totally by accident. And I'm using the terrible dice as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are firing directly on number one when it takes a hard right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Go uh, D ten for me, please. You suck. Uh, ooh, is that a six or a nine? That is a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Copious. <laughs> the heat-seeking silver missile of pain comes at you. Uh, this is not. Oh, this is an accidental misfire. Uh, this is not associated with the curve, so half damage to Copious. Damage was six, so half of that would be three. There you go, Copious. You've been shot in the knee. We'll probably have to retire. Now, <laughs> the, for the, well, just for the record, that arrow has a silver tip. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, I'm tracking 100%. Okay, good, good. Uh, Manfang, you're up. You son of a bitch, you just shot me in the knee. What do you mean? I'm aiming for the cat. No, oh, oh, cat. You shot me in the There's knee. There's a spell in here. There's a spell. There's a spell. 
Rebuke. 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 Yeah, hellish rebuke him. Man, rebuke. Fang, you're up. <laughs> cool. Well, all this madness is going on. I'm going to hit the guy again and try and forget about what they're doing. <laughs> Accident my ass. That's all I can say. That's a, no, it's a nine. Nine plus that. <laughs> nine is not going to do it for you. Uh, copious, that uh, means it is you. Am I distracted by the silver arrow in my knee? Uh, you have a message, uh, and yeah, you're distracted. One of your buddies just shot you. I'm going to jerk that thing out of my knee, uh, and I'm going to throw it right on the ground next to my feet and stomp on it to see if I can break the shaft of that sucker. Fair enough. I'll uh, give you that as a free action. Uh, what would you like to do with uh, your attack? Well, I'm, I'm going to start off like aiming to cast a spell at the knucklehead who just shot me. But then I'm going to shoot one of the tabaxi. Maybe. Uh, 14, yeah. 14 hits. Uh, same tabaxi you hit last time? Yep, six points. Dead. Felix and Copiuses is dead. Uh, 15, Leaf. 17. Hit. Uh, four. Still up. Uh, last but not least, Haggis before me. <clears throat> Haggis, there seems to be some friction within the party in this particular. <laughs> Just keep shooting. Huh. I, there's only one left, isn't there? There's three left. One on you, one on Leaf, one on uh, Manfang. Guys, guys, I need a tomato. A big tomato. Totally clueless as to what the hell's going on. Go ahead, Haggis. Stab. Uh, I'm just so sad. He's got to oh. read all this crap. 11? Uh, 11 is just shy. It rings off the uh, natural barrier between you and it. Uh, on Haggis, two. On Leaf, 17 plus. Uh, on Manfang, five. Uh, I bite, you know what? Odd I bite, even I use my short sword. Even I use my short sword. Three plus two is five damage as I slash leaf across the midsection. Felix, round four. I'm going to reach into my quiver and pull out another arrow. Is it a real arrow? Let's find out. Yeah, it's a normal arrow. Okay. So Copious is uh, right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's I'll just... shoot him if he does it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Ooh, 12. Well, actually, 12 plus 3, 15 to hit. Hits. Uh, four damage. Are you going after Haggis's leaves or Manfangs? Uh, the next closest one to me. How much damage? Four. 15, you are going after Haggis's. Uh, 18, Manfang. You going to hit anybody today? Maybe. I have no idea. You know, Copious is right there. I know. <laughs> I, I might, I'm a little tempted, but... <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know Felix will shoot him another time. Gnomes, what are they good for? <gasps> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, man, Fang. No, no, no. I don't want to hit it. Copious, the field is yours. <laughs> Casting, I'm still giving the uh, evil eye to Felix as I cast another spell. Okay. I'm under my breath. Missed. Okay. Uh, leaf. Three fourteen hits. Uh, five points. Still up. Haggis. Yes. Your attack. Uh -huh. Just going to say Copious is right there. 14. <laughs> it's. That's a 10. 
that's not bad, but he's still up. Uh, without the sneak attack bonus from uh, Felix, you guys are hurting. On Hagas, Nat 20. On Leaf, 10, uh, 14. That's not going to do it. Manfang, 12. Does a 16 hit Manfang? No, it does not. Uh, so, uh, odd bite, even sword. You get bit. Haggis, I'm going to need a con save, please. And take six hit points of damage as it chomps down on you. Eleven. Eleven, you say. Okay. Uh, top of the order, round five. Felix. Uh, Haggis screams bloody murder, and you see this tabaxi nang, 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 notching down on him. So I didn't think that I could use sneak attack because I got targeted by the javelin a few turns ago. Yep. Can I uh, use it this turn? Yes, the other three uh, are already engaged in others. All right, I will do that, and let's see which arrow I pull out. Nope, normal arrow. <laughs> hey, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. Uh, I hit it with an 18. 8 plus 3 plus another 3 in damage. So 14 damage. Haggis is yours falls uh, with an arrow through its neck with a perfect strike. Uh, next up is Manfang the Ineligible. Go ahead, Manfang. Come on. Would you like to hit somebody today? That'd be kind of Come a on. change of pace. I like a one-hit anything today. I know I'm kind of out of you, you should go help Robert find a tomato. Finally, 18. There you go. Uh, how much damage? <laughs> Probably two. Ten. Ten. Yeah, nice. Not as good as I wanted it to be. Copious, there are two left. One is on Leaf, one is on Manfang. None are on Felix, but he keeps reaching into that damn quiver. Every time he pulls an arrow out, I flinch when it goes by at this point. You get a twitch. All right, I'm attacking the one that uh, Manfang's trying to attack. Okay. I... Uh, no, thank God he's attacking that one. Uh, you're going to hit Manfang. <laughs> How much damage do you do to Lizard Boy? Uh, six, half of that, three points. You look uh, down. That's the lowest damage I've done today, even against myself. There you go, man. Fang hit four three. Leaf, you're up. You're still entangled with one of these things. Oh crap! Uh, fourteen. A lot of ones today. Fourteen hits. I ain't getting any damage. Uh, the, 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 the Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Warm the cockles of my heart. Good Lord, can't even see that one. Seven. Still up. Uh, Haggis. There is one on Leaf. There is one on Manfang. And if you count Copious, there are two opponents on Manfang right now. Oh. <laughs> I hate you especially. But somebody give me a damn tomato. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so I then like to throw it. Are there two corpses next to me? There are two corpses. I'm gonna start kind of loot them. I'm gonna loot them. Oh, know. fair enough. Couches. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that shit. Uh leaf. You that? You're looting the corpses? Yeah. 13. That's a miss. Manfang. Uh 18 plus four. That's a 22. Uh odd even. Wah wah. Give me a con roll for me there, hot shot. And take. Five hit points of damage as the tabaxi bites into your forearm. Oh, I thought he was going to say it sprayed him. <laughs> say, I oh, I, I, oh, man, I shouldn't have said I that. I'm a constitution plus five to six. So, so Haggis and Manfang have both failed. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, oh, top of the order. Round six. This has been going on a full minute. Felix, you're up. One on Leaf. One on Manfang. Literally, one on Manfang. <laughs> time to end it. I reach back into my quiver 
and I pulled out a curved arrow. I, unbeknownst to me, I'm just reaching in and <laughs> I'm not using will. those red cursed dice, though. Fire at will. 14. Uh, Haggis, does a 14 hit you? Uh, a silver arrow goes whizzing past your head uh, and almost gets Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, next up, Man, man Fang. You got, you got opponents everywhere. You got one on your arm. <laughs> you, you got your buddy busting Traitor. your butt. Traitor. I would say keep the tabaxi clamped on and beat copious. Uh, with the improvised weapon. You know, I'm going to reach over and just do this. Two fingers, just try and right in the eye. Sure. See if you hit it. Right. It's actually a good roll. 18. There you go. Uh, now it's blinded. Cool. Oh, I, thought it was, I thought it was poking copious. <laughs> Uh, give me one d4 damage for the improvised fingering. Let me get my dice out. D4 looks like a triangle, right? Yep. Cool. Just point out, Copius isn't actually in the combat. He's shooting from the shadows. Fat fingers, this thing won't move. Yin Feng will have to chase me down to beat me with that tabaxi on him. That's a four. Uh, that is enough to kill it as you... Oh, no, that's yours. Never mind. Don't worry, Man Feng. I'm going to shoot it off of you. No way. <laughs> Copious, you know, shoot it off him. No way. You stop. Go ahead, Copious. Hold still, Man Feng. No. I'm kind of oh, like it up a little higher. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> the two. Lord. Man Fang, as your fingers are inserted, you have left an open triangle from your body to your arm. Uh, the spell Copius's shot has gone right through, sending a little tingle on your armpit hair, uh, if you have any, as a scaly creature. Uh, Leaf, you're up. Oh, dang. I think I want to run. Yours is almost dead. When I kill the yeah. I'm killing you. 20. Dirty 20. Hit. Uh, four. Good enough. Uh, you finished yours off. Hagas, there is one left. Uh, it is hanging on Manfang's <laughs> arm. It has been illuminated by the copious V bitters uh, school it? of illumination. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Did I find fire. anything off of them? Did, you did I find it? Did. Uh, you have found <laughs> gemstones and old uh, turtle coins valued at 50 gold pieces. Uh, it's a 60 40 split. So. Well, do, do I know which way we came in? Oh, yeah, it's right behind yeah. the uh, tabaxi. Well, I'm going to head back to the tavern, you know, just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Side, sidestep man fang and wander out yeah. sure. excuse yeah. me sorry man fang sorry to as you were as you were he's fighting that's what he are you you step outside fair enough uh the last tabaxi st standing currently gnawing on man fang 17 bites a little bit deeper since you've already failed one con check i don't need to do that again you're yeah. welcome uh you are going to take Four more hit points of damage as uh, the your draconian blood begins to drip down onto the cold, cold stone floor. But yeah, don't worry. Right. Felix the Rogue is up in round six. <gasps> Jesus. Fire away again. Uh, it's a normal arrow. Damn. Uh, 13 to hit. Yep. Do I get a sneak attack bonus on this one or no? Yep. Oh, it's, Sweet. it's lodged on man fang. Sweet. Uh, seven plus another four, 11 damage. Uh, man fang, those two holes that you made when you poked its eyeballs out, 
uh, an arrow comes shooting out of one but stops just short of your scaly arm as Felix says, you're welcome. Uh, in perfect gnomish oh, no, thing. <laughs> you also hear... Hey guys, I found a tomato. I, I got a tomato. Don't worry about it. Uh, everybody perception check. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 15. 15. Oh, oh wait. Oh, seven. 11. Oh, am I supposed to roll? Yep, perception. Uh, 22. Uh, you notice that Haggis has just sauntered his way out of the library, turned the corner, and you see a large falcon giant vulture kind of creature swoop low over haggis's head haggis you know this as well as the claws kind of hit you in the back of the head uh copious leaf felix and robert not so much uh you do notice that two of the dead tabaxi appear to be looted and placed in unusual positions on top of each other that leaves the other two tabaxi to be looted i'll loot the one i'm just killed, I guess. 25 gold pieces in gems and coin, 60-40 split. I'll, I'll loot the other one. 25, 60-40 uh, split. Uh, the high 60 is the gold content. All of it is total currency, uh, but I'm sure you can find a vendor. Uh, now everybody realizes that Haggis is on his own in the plaza about one o'clock in the afternoon, sun beaten down, being chased by a large bird. Yeah. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, that's what I feel about it. Come on, Robert. Let's head back to the tavern. And Robert steps up to Felix and goes, see a tomato. I had one on the whole time. Ah, crap. Now I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> This spell has run out. Uh, so he hikes the tablet in. Oh, well. So what did I miss? <laughs> it's like he was really here. I yeah. died. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> there it is. Hey, wait. I think we have a party matter to discuss. While Felix is raiding those bodies, he's going to feel a prick, a little prick, <laughs> on his back. Oh, no, a big brick at his back <laughs> with a little brick. <laughs> hey, Felix, we have something to discuss about you and your arrows. Yeah. What the hell, man? I, I, I tend to agree. I you have no to. idea what happened. I shot those arrows as true as I can. You know me. There must have been a spell in here causing them to deflect. There wasn't well, a, you saw it. Wasn't a you saw it. I was... I was not aiming at you. I was aiming right at the tabaxi, and it. Yeah. Did yeah. the fish? Did the fish? Yeah, did the fish Let's go look at the arrow. Did I feel that prick in my back? By the way. I would assume so because you were busy looting, so you're yeah. like a stationary target. Do I Probably turn... in the rump. See, keep in mind, I'm only like this tall. <laughs> like yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. What so the hell is that? Size. Why are you pricking me in the back? You shot me with an arrow. What did you just stab That's me with? What did you inoculate me with? Shot him with an arrow. What did I miss? <laughs> you missed nothing. What? Honey. Go sit down and eat your applesauce. By the if if you look over, it's my packed weapon. It looks creepy as hell. So it doesn't look healthy at all. I mean, it's a black blade with weird vines and leaves growing out of it, and like a weird nimbus. It's creepy as hell. So you just got an MMR shot. Measles, yeah. mumps, and rubella. Lucky me. If I see one of those arrows come out of your pack again, I'm going to shove this sword up your backside. One of those arrows? That's Black. my weapon. How many more of those do you have in that quiver? There should be 10 of them in there. The you silver mean the, tips? There, I should have 10 silver tips Nine. in there. Nine. You Actually, there's only eight in there. You can recover the other one. Oh. A critical hit or a critical miss. <laughs> you, you got Keep in mind, I don't realize that I shot the silver-tipped arrows. Oh. So, the jury is still out on that one. Metagaming or not, this is like 
Copius saw you pull, shoot an arrow, the arrow boomerang back and hit him in the knee. That was it's magic, man. I don't know what happened. What what kind of spells are you guys throwing around? There's heavy air in there. It deflects it like a prism with light going whoa, through. Whoa, the prism. whoa, 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 whoa. Robert interjects. Where's Haggis? He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Where is Hoggis? He's out there playing with a bird. He's going to play with a bird. Uh, Hoggis is is making a beeline for the tavern, but he is having to zigzag around as a giant vulture keeps swooping at him. Hoggis, give me a perception check to see if you notice how many are coming. So I'm going to tell Felix this isn't over and go out. 16. There are three more giant vultures coming in. Uh, Paca, paca, paca. Huh. I'm going to go pull out that other arrow that I missed with and examine it and realize that, oh, I was shooting silver tipped arrows. Dude, oh, can I look at the arrow and realize that it's a little curved? Oh, it's a lot curved. <laughs> <laughs> mm, damn, got mm, to it. Mm. Uh oh. And you can't, yeah, yeah. And, and you didn't notice this when you were shooting them? To be fair, he's a horrible shot. <laughs> I am a great yeah. shot. I hit almost 100% accuracy today. That is true. <laughs> well, you usually do hit something. I almost always hit some people. Right. Uh-huh. Just not what you're aiming at. I guess All what's right, your movement right. speed? I, wait a minute. Copious, I did not did he really not hit what he was aiming 40. at? 40. I, I am going to apologize because I did not realize that I was pulling the wrong arrows from my quiver. They all got mixed up when that damn bass on the wall was talking shit about my mother. (laughs) I'm going to apologize profusely. Uh, Next time, I will be much more careful. You better be. All right. Uh, This isn't over. I'm 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 walking away. You, You can see Robert in the doorway watching Haggis uh, bob and weave and says, ah, he outran the birds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm heading over to the tavern then. Robert, come on. I'm going. Let's wait for the birds. Right Who else is going? I'm going to the tavern. I'm walking away from Copious. It's like... <laughs> uh, as you guys get halfway... Uh, hey, dude. Halfway across... <laughs> The uh, plaza, you can see the four birds uh, kind of launching themselves in a military style attack. Uh, you're going to have to hoof it if you want to get out of their way. Yeah. Uh, I'll run. Oh, shit. Get them. Get them. Every, everybody, if you're going to run, roll a d20. Make sure you don't trip. Should I yeah, run? 13. I didn't trip. No trip. 11. <laughs> oh, Felix, did he trip over one of them damn arrows? Robert's fine. Uh, Felix is the only one that kind of trips, stumbles, catches himself, uh, and heads into the tavern. <laughs> As predictable, the two gnomes are drunk uh, and asked if you brought lunch. Yeah, uh, it's right outside on the hook. Judging from the clock, I think this is a good opportunity to stop. You actually got several magic items today. Uh, So that will be... Several magic items shot at me today. Yeah. Um, Also, Leaf, I'm going to send you a message. Okay, uh, let's do final thoughts. AJ, what'd you think about today? Oh, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> On accident. On and, accident. And yeah, I the first time I did, ac- I accidentally pulled the arrow because it was like, well, let's get the story rolling here. And after that, I was rolling for the arrows. There you go. So, <laughs> so it was accidental-ish. Mostly. It was, actually, it was, I left it in fate's hands, but it was a lot of fun. And I'm glad that Copious got hit of all the people. <laughs> uh, Man Fang the Toxic, uh, little Frankie, how'd you do? It was fun. Yeah. 
couldn't hit anything, but yeah, it was fun. It was great. You could you could barely hit the pillow when you threw yourself on the bed today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, can you do it again? Sure. Watch if he slides off, I'm gonna die laughing. Ow. Stuck his head right through the bars. Uh, <laughs> Jason, what'd you think? Uh, I I like the way the story was unfolding in the library. Again, the visualizations were great, and and even though most of today was really combat exploration, the pacing for me went really well, and the 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 vicious mockery is one of my favorite spells to watch in action. And it was that was that was beautiful watching Felix fight with a fish on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I had a uh, haunted mansion for uh, Hoosier Con this year, and it featured a wall of vicious mockery posters. Oh, man. So, and, you know, that may make a reappearance. So I, well, I'm Ooh. glad I got the pacing right. Uh, Nicholas, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. It sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> you were overcome. Uh, and finally, uh, the elder statesman, Frank. Oh, I, I had a, a good time with that, okay. especially the snail. I was trying to remember what it was. I know RuneQuest, they had chaos snails, I think, in it. I think, I think this was Dragon snails fiend and... folio oh. is what they got it from. Yeah, love uh, the snails. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the uh, Margu campaign. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did, uh, even though that would be a high bar to beat. <laughs> follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. If you want to join us in chat, go ahead. Most importantly, if you want a seat, talk show, or game, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up let us know thanks to pirate dog dice for giving us dice that roll high most of the time for leaf and uh <laughs> oddfishgames.com thank you oddfishgames.com uh your sense make this game wonderful mayan temple uh folks uh that is it for us have a great rest of the weekend and we will catch you later bye everybody